Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play 5, this World Insurrection. Last time we left off, we reunited with Mia, and we also, and Alwyn was also kidnapped. Yay, I guess. And now we are trying to find a way into Luna Mundus, which um, Subaru's grandfather helped us out with. But to do that, we had to ask Yona, Pipiro and L uh, Laraila for help. And of course, Fiona is back at her mansion. We found nothing on Luna Mundus, though, I felt. Little hope of us doing so. What do you think Alvin is doing right now? It's very likely her father left some sort of clue in the castle. All we can do now is wait and place our hopes in her. <sighs> I know, but it's still frustrating. Hello? Hmm? Oh, Ragna? And Miss Rue as well. Has something happened? Yeah, we've got a big problem here. They took Owen. What? How could this happen? Yep, here is the gist. I see. But they have taken Alvin to Luna Mundus? Yeah, we are sure of it. But Tenzin said you need a lot of magic to open that door in Crystal Valley. I know you have no reason to help me after I turn my back on everyone, but... I'm asking you, no. I'm begging you, please, help me. Ragna. Raise your head, Ragna. You needn't beg of me. We are very worried about Alvin, too. I've been searching for clues to the whereabouts of Luna Mundus since the beginning. I'll gladly help you. I can't thank you enough, really. <laughs> it's my pleasure to help you. We'll head over to Crystal Valley shortly. Claude, prepare my blade and armor. I don't think you will need it, as you wish, but sure. Sweet, looks like we got Fiona on board. Now we just need to track down Pipiro and Elira. Knowing her, she's probably puffing around in her hut in the forest. As for Pipiro, well, guess he's as good as mine. Well, let's take a look around. She's gotta be somewhere. Well, she's actually in town with Poco. Oh, here you guys are. You guys, guys must be really excited since Y was just announced for PC. Hey, Poco, Pipiro, nice to see you sticking closer to home for once. Hey, Ragna. Well, well, it looks like you brought a tempest in a teacup, too. Why are you calling a pint-sized midget fairy you could fit in a teacup? Um, not her. <sighs> the unbearable sass. In my day, girls were raised to be proper ladies. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Anyway, what did you guys need? Sounds like you've been looking for us. Actually... There is something I could use your help with. Oh, poor Owen. What should we do? This is bad. Pipiro, really bad. Oh, give it a rest, Poco. You're an embarrassment to men everywhere. But now I get why you were so hot on tracking us down. You want me to use my magic to help power those ruins, right? Hit the nail on the head. Without your hocus pocus, there's no way we are gonna get that door to budge even an inch. So I'm asking you, will you please help us? Ragna. Sure, for the low, low price of 100,000 penne, Magical Maiden Pipiro can be at your beck and call. Seriously? Why you little... Uh, actually, I don't seem to have that much on me at the moment. Must have left my Wankrich guy jacket. 
still I don't think I'll have any problems rummaging up that kind of cash. Is it alright if I pay you after? Wait, did you really think I was being serious? I'm not that greedy. What's important is getting the rainbow jewel back. Yeah. Honestly, were you trying to get me to blow an artery? Well, you sure surprised me. <laughs> I've known you so long, just for a second there, I, I thought you were giving them a glimpse of the real Pipiro. Coco, you and me are going to have a nice long chat once this is all over. Coco's unpleasant future aside, I've got to hand it to you, Regna. You look like you've made up your mind. It's like you have a totally different personality from the last time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suppose. Alvin's been by my side from the start, so Belarus really come through for me. I owe the folks from Ilbert a big time. I could hardly call myself a man if I didn't do everything I could for them, and they are they need it. Ragna. <laughs> Look at you, with your friendship and your swagger. Well, since it's for a good cause, sure, I guess I can help you. Crystal Valley, right? I'll make my way over there now. Look alive, Poco. We are moving out. Aye aye. Later, guys. That kid is going to get murdered in his sleep. But all things considered, it, that didn't go so badly. I thought for sure she was going to whine and complain or make us kneel and beg for the magnanimous assistance. <laughs> Guess she's got a soft spot under all that pink. Well, the only one we need to find now is Relira. I'm guessing she'll be hanging around in her heart in the woods. That's a pretty safe bet. I could fly us there if you don't want to waste time. Actually, I'm going to make you fly us there since you can't go into any dungeon. Because I forbid it. Stupid fairy. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, Regna and Ru. I know why you are, have come. Princess Alvin has been kidnapped, has she not? Well, how could you know that? Goodness gracious, have you already forgotten what my specialty is? You've been entrusted with the key that opens the gate to, Luna, to the Lunar Realm, but the Demon Lord's power is sealed. Or something like that. I got the gist of what happened from my crystal ball. Wow, that that's pretty much what happened. Oh, you already know? Great, now I don't have to repeat the whole story. I already did that two times. Well then, Granny, how about it? Will you help us out? Indeed, I will. In fact, I've just finished my preparations. I'll take my broom here and fly on ahead to Crystal Valley. When you're ready. Hurry on down to meet and meet there. Can't you just teleport like every other normal person? Yeah, there she goes. At least her noises saved us from having to rattle off a long explanation. Crazy to think she's flown all over Grand Valen on that ratty old broom. Oh well, we ought to get going too. Uh, yeah, that's everyone now. We should have head over to Crystal Valley when we are ready. Yep. But sadly, we can't teleport there, so the closest location should be Rolata. And I just realized I forgot to turn down the audio a bit, but I think it's still audible, so it should be fine. Oh, and by the way, you might have realized my step count has gone up since last time by uh, around 30,000 steps. That's because uh, there is a scene coming up that I want to do in this episode. So yeah, th there's that. That took me like a half an hour with Cheat Engine. Just speed it up by five times.
Alright, looks like the gang's all here. We are ready to proceed. But in order to keep the gate open, we'll have to continuously channel our magic into it. So while you are gone, we'll be staying right here. Yeah, sorry about that. I knew this would be a pain in the ass. The miscalculation was mine. I didn't think we'd have to remain to keep the gate open. Still, I don't like the thought of sending Ragnar to Luna Mundus alone. I know. Claude, could you go with Ragnar to lend him your aid? I'm sure that with you at his side, Ragnar's safe passage is all but assured. But my lady... He can't. The enemy could show up here without warning. And if they did, the only thing that that stand between you and the bad guys would be Pockle and Claude. Uh oh, you have a point. I guess we are pretty much defenseless while we are, are pouring our magic into the gate, huh? Then I guess it's up to Pockle to keep you safe. My deepest apologies, Sir Ragnar. Eh, don't sweat it. You've got an important job to do here. First thing first first, let's get me a route through the gate. If things get out of hand, we'll we'll think of something. I suppose that's all we can do. We don't exactly have a vest of options. Are you ready, Ragnar? Shall we open the gate? Sure, go ahead. Alright, let's give this old door a knock and see if anyone's home. Got it. Look alive, you two. You heard the man. Nothing is challenging or complicated about this. Just open up the floodgate and let your magical energies flow. <laughs> Alrighty. Understood. Ooh, it's glowing. Well, would you look at that? It's nearly humming with energy. Alright, Regna, time to use that key you've got there. Right. I don't really see a keyhole, but I guess it's magic. Impressive. That sure is something. Simply incredible. Psh, I've seen cooler. I can only presume that if you ascend those stairs, you will reach the entrance to, to, to the lunar realm. Just be careful up there. We cannot fathom what may lie in wait. We will. Gotcha. Let's roll. But before that, we have to talk to Pipiro. Man, this gate is really sucking down the magic. In fact, if it keeps going like this, we'll probably only be able to keep it up for a few hours. But no worries, you can totally leave this to little old me. She makes it look like a child's play. Is she one of those child prodigies? That's a pretty easily missable character note. Alright, time to make our way up these really long stairs. Nice view, though. What? What is it? I hate to say it, but it looks like they were ready for us. But how? I mean, they know we have the key. What do you think? Guess we are gonna be kicking some goons off this staircase all the way to the top. Hope you are ready to rumble, Ru. You don't have to tell me twice. Pretty easy, you can just keep past them, but eh, they are pretty easily taken care of, so let's just murder them. 
Is this really the best defense that Zahar could think up of? I, come on, man. Well, what is it now? Look alive, cause we've got trouble. That's the thing that shot down the Tristan. Which means I've got a score to settle. Kinda hard to hit it if it's just... Too far away. Damn it. The stairs are too narrow. It's hard to get a good foothold. What are we gonna do? Hey, some days you are flying high, and some days you are just gonna take the stairs, eh, Regna? There! Huh? There we go, I knew we needed a partner for the dungeon. The wolfy woman? Odessa? What are you doing here? <laughs> Heard you could use yourself a partner, so I figured I'd tag along. I got the business of my own to scratch out up there, just like you. So, how about it? You need me tearing up whatever gets in your or way? You sure know what to say to make a fella spear special. Come on. Hey, wait. That's great for you for you two and all, but there's more of these monsters coming our way and fast. Well, Looks like the pain train is ready to bloat on through. You said it. We'll have this small fry popped up in no time flat. And now we have Odessa in our party, but she's not really that amazingly useful on the stairs since the enemies are on a different elevation. So let's just continue using Ragna. I am not dealing with you. Would you look at that? Amazing. I reckon we made it to the end. Sure did, but that don't mean we are stopping here. Let's head straight, straight on through. Did we just end up in Trails in the Sky the third? It sure does look like it. So, this is Luna Mundus, eh? Better say, I've been to more than a few weird places in my life, but this really takes the cake. It's like everything's just hanging in midair, totally still. Kind of creepy if you ask me. What do they need my princess for? And why do they have to bring her somewhere like this? Uh, what is it, Odessa? Still getting your bearings? <laughs> Odessa, what's wrong? That power, it must be something about this place. This sure is the lunar realm, I can feel it down on the tip of my tail. And does it mean that wasteland we are gawking at down there is the moon itself? Say what? The moon, like the floats in the sky, shines at night moon? That's the only one we got, partner. You see? I'm bristling with power right now, stronger than, than I ever felt. But that makes perfect sense if this is the moon we are floating over here. You've got to be kidding me. Well, it wasn't exactly a short trip up, but those were stairs. I don't understand how we... Ah, 
whatever. Even if it, this is the moon, it doesn't really change anything. We are primed for a rescue mission, and we are coming in hot. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't gotta tell me twice. But before we do that, uh, question, how are we breathing? I'm just going to accept it. Wanna rest a little? Let's rest up. And before we move on with Luna Mundus, let's head back to uh, Star for Hamlet Shop. Let's do that first. And now Odessa is back in her usual form. And after we take 60,000 steps, if we come into the bathhouse... I'll take this let's do it with Odessa first. Yeah, sure. Some fan service never hurt anyone. Even if it's 3D model low polygon fan service. Still counts. Alright, that was not so much titillating, but let's go with Ragna. Take a deep, nice, relaxing breath. Man, I wish I li lived in Japan, or semi-Japan, uh, mixed with Western styles. And if we... Do it enough, I think it's random we get a new scene, so let me just cut to that. First try! Wow, I can't believe it, but thanks game, I don't have to waste my time here. <laughs> Those poor Ragnar eyes, I love them. Well, that was awkward. Okay, moving on. If we come to the Gloomguild Woods after we got Odessa... Oh, hey class. It's you. Oh, hey. Long time no see. Uh, finally, it's been so long since I saw another human being. Let me guess. You got yourself all turned around in these here woods and couldn't find your way out. Well... I wouldn't say I was lost, per se, but I feel like I was walking around, it just suddenly changed from day to night without any warning. And whenever the moon pops up, I can swear I see this weird old hut. Still, I haven't been able to get out of here and it's not for the lack of trying, this place is a real maze. So you are lost. I can't say I wouldn't expect any less from you. The good news is, you're practically out already. The exit is right there. Huh? Really? <laughs> Yay! Finally, I'll be free. What are you doing, man? What? This is moron moronity on another different level. Wait, you don't think that he's incapable of following you in the simplest of direction? Well, at least he knows where the exit is now. I figure it with enough time he'll find his way out. No telling how long that that'll be though. We can only hope. Yep, no point fussing about it. He will be safe, right? You know what? If he dies, we did everything we could. Which wasn't much, but even that couldn't help. And here is the store for the fairies, but they are still not open. Well now... I could go back down to Claude and the others to get some extra dialogue with Odessa, but eh. 
It's not that interesting. Oh, there's Grand Valen. Even though we came from the southwest, for some reason it's in the northwest. I guess that's magic for you. And here is my single most hated area in the entire game. And this thanks to an escort mission. Yay. Oh yeah, right, let's show off Odessa, I guess. She has her boomerangs, and that's about it. And of course it's counted as magical as a magical attack. And here we have these black hole vortex thingies, they just suck you up, they don't hurt you. But it does make it really difficult to hit enemies. Especially if I get confused by these cards. For some reason this area is a reference to Alice in Wonderland, I'm not sure why, but let's just go with it. And here we have these um, lance soldiers which can shoot your, their laser beams at you. Oh and you might want to keep some of your food for later on in this area. It's pretty important because it has to do with the weight mechanic. You might want to clear out the area before we reach the end, because, well, we are going to be starting the escort soon. That's the place for the to continue, but before that, we actually want to backtrack. Might as well use my glide gear since I killed everything. You might have noticed there is no place really to go on, but there is actually a hidden passage over here. Yep, I did it, who that's actually kinda difficult to do. Hit the switch, uh, that'll be just a shortcut. Ooh, a pineapple. Let's see, let me just quickly unequip anything that boosts my strength. And now this rabbit has to follow... No, bad kitty. Really, really bad kitty. And now we just have to lead this rabbit to the end. That's easier said than done since this stupid thing is running all over the place and is really slow. So yeah, this will take a while. This is probably the single most worst mechanic in the entire game. Oh, and if you go too far ahead of it, he will just stop following you. Oh, and if you go too close to it, he will just start running away and teleporting all over the place. Oh, and if you go down the, to the next area, he resets his location. And here is another secret path. And here is the worst thing of all, if you go through the door, that's actually not the right way. You have to go down the hole, and he has to come with you. If you go down alone, well, good luck with that. Oh my god. Let me just grab you. There we go, that helped. And we are not done with him, since we still have to go through two more areas with him. Wonderful. Um, this is the same door we just saw, so let's ignore that. And of course you can't kill him. Well, we will kill him, we will murder him and his family. But not yet. Thanks game, that was really nice of you. Pathetic. 
So yeah, in this area, the anti-gravity just stops at the right time and you have to jump, make this jump. And here we do have to use Odessa to hit these light bulbs. There we go. We do not want to go through that gate. I just came for the treasure chest. And now to backtrack to the beginning where the rabbit was. Oh, there is a vase over here. How sneaky. For rabbits only, guess what that means. Where did that, that little bugger go? There he is. A bit closer, just a bit more. Come on, buddy. Do I really have to babysit you even in this one? Come on. Just get to it already. There you go. And we are still not done with him. A size for everything and for everything a size. Perhaps you ought to bulk up. But perhaps this I would ought. That's wonderful. I, I could murder them, but they mean no harm, I guess. What's this? Wait here, huh? Sure, let me just quickly equip my... Where is it? My weight, the travel scale. And eat some food. There we go. I was just a few kilograms short. And as you can see, we bulked up a bit, but all is well, it's for the puzzle. And thankfully, once we change area, we lose like um, 30 kilograms. Come on, dude. If you don't have any enough food, just change areas, but of course that would mean that the rabbit would be reset. Oh my god, why did you run away? Come on. I can't believe this. We are at the final stretch, come on. Gotcha, gotcha bitch. Alright, one more area. One more area and this nightmare is over. Um, this would be the way that you would normally come, but let's just finish business with the rabbit first. There, done. done. Now die, you piece of shit. And I never have to see you once again in my entire life. And we get a, a widget out of him if we kill it. Now well, we have two clocks. Uh, great, thanks game. I really needed it. Die. Die, all of you. All right. <sighs> now that that's over with, we can continue. It only took me like plus 12 minutes. Uh... Oh yeah, I can bring out my cat now. Was there even a point in coming over here? I don't even see a vase. Yeah, that's great. You're finished. There. There. This is an interesting situation. Well, at least I got the pots.
Okay, so what's that big blue sphere way out in the distance just past those um, weird veiled things? It looks enormous. <laughs> you said it. Whoa, you guys don't think that's got to be Grand Valen. What? How do you figure? Well, usually we look up into the sky and see the moon hanging there, but now we've got the moon floating under us. So if you can see the moon from Grand Valen, I, if, it only makes sense we can look out and see Grand Valen from the moon, right? Ah, I gotcha. You know how when you're flying around, you can see where the land meets the sky? It's got this sort of curve to it. I always wondered why it looked like that. Guess we... Guess now we know why. Talking like a true treasure hunter. You must have adventure in your blood. Even in a new place, you still notice the details and put two and two together. Shows you got good head in your shoulder. <laughs> if I start hearing stuff like that from a first class hunter like you, it's got it'll go straight to my head. Anyway, we are nowhere near done exploring this place. Let's take a breather before we go any further though. No idea what we might run into next. Sounds good to me. But first, save. Rest a little? Also my screen is getting a bit cluttered. Time to take a breather. Ah, it looks like it's boss time once again. <laughs> so, you finally made it. That voice. Is it really? Oh, hey Alwyn. This dungeon was a lot shorter than I thought, although we still need to get me up. I'm so happy you're safe. You're not hurt, are you? I can't believe it. You came all this way just for me? It can't have been an easy journey. To think, you went to such great lengths just so you could meet your end here. Huh? Get back! <laughs> Well, ain't that a fine how'd you do? My princess, why? <sighs> she turned to the dark side. <laughs> no, nah, it's Mont Blanc. <laughs> Only he would do such a stupid laugh. Princess Owen! This ain't good. I think she's possessed or something. We've got to find some way to bring her back to her senses. Easy. All we got to do is win. A little applied encouragement, and she'll be back to her old self in no time. Wait, what? You sound awful sure about that. She's a true blood princess with some mighty powerful magic. You're a swell guy with a weird contraption strapped to your arm. Aw, oh, come on. We got two against one here. This shouldn't be that hard. Just got to get in there and finish the fight nice and quick. Strike my princess? Have you lost your mind? I can barely believe I am hearing such disrespect from her second most trusted vassal! You gotta trust me on this one, Rue. I'm not gonna make you help if you don't want to. You can just sit here and watch. But we'd have our best shot if you were a part of this. Owen needs your help, and so do I. <sighs> I still have my doubts. Something happens to my princess. I will never, ever forgive you. Is that clear? You got yourself a deal. You ready, Odessa? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's bring her back. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm not even going to justify doing a strategy for this fight. I mean, just use Odessa. Oh, she can heal? How wonderful. Oh, 
And here I thought I could get the no hit in. Oh well. So much for you. Hey, hey, it's that man alive. She even fooled me. Damn you all. How dare you Cretans show such disrespect to me, a true blood princess. You'll regret ever crossing me. I won't let you wretches get away with this. Ah, not you again. We can tell it's you, Mont Blanc. No one's voice grates quite like yours does. <laughs> Why, you little... <laughs> you stupid cat! How dare you try to trick us by impersonating my princess! This brazen slander of Princess Alwyn's noble character is completely and totally unforgivable! forgot one important little detail. I'm still bound to Alwyn by our blood contract. Did you think I wouldn't be able to tell that your little disguise wasn't the real deal? Ow. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. Besides, there's no way Alwyn would ever let herself be controlled by anyone. I mean, how could she? She's way too proud to ever think someone else's way of doing things was better than hers. All the Isles of Grand Valen would come crashing down before our favorite princess became someone else's stooge. Well, you're not wrong about that. Still, oh, I can't believe I fell for that feline fool's trickery. <laughs> I'm in a real pickle. I've got to get out of here and report back to Marquis Zahar. Nuh uh, not this time. <laughs> I gotta say, that little Hocus Pocus transforming act was pretty low. Even for you. <laughs> a real slap in the face. Do you have a single shred of decency in you? Phew! Rachna! You know what? I've had enough of your meddling. Let's have you take a time out for a while, shall we? <laughs> oh. Think I went too far? Not far enough. Ask me. Maybe I should tear out those whiskers <laughs> one by one. Huh. You do that, and we just might see a little remorse percolate through that hard head of hers. Well, we don't have the time to waste worrying about her. I doubt she'll give us any more trouble, at least for now. The real all one's gotta be waiting for us somewhere up ahead. Come on, let's get moving. Yeah! Okie dokie. Oh, Montblanc is a she? Okay, I can roll with that. I will kick your ass equally. Despite gender. What is it? Nothing really. I just thought I heard someone call my name. Did you not hear it? No, I heard nothing. Perhaps it's simply the anxiety gnawing at you. After all, even a noble woman like you must feel some unease about what lies ahead. Well, to say I'm not concerned would be a lie, yes. Still, as worried as I might be about the future, all I can do is go on being myself. What would I gain from fretting and worrying myself sick about every little single thing that wasn't to my liking? You're stronger than I gave you credit for, but I suppose that's what I should have expected from a true blood princess, even in this circumstance like these. I'm afraid you're mistaken. It has nothing to do with my true blood ancestry. It was actually your brother who taught me that. Uh, up until I met Regna, you could say I had the perfect life. In a certain sense, I was secure and steadfast in my belief that I stood on a level above all other living creatures. But your brother proved so stubborn, so abstained, that before I knew it, I'd come down to his level, on equal footing with him. 
And that's when I, too, became imperfect. Humans hesitate, they feel fear, pain, despair, hardly ideal, as I'm sure you are aware. But the funny thing is, it's precisely because of those imperfections that humans are able to grow stronger. If they were perfect from the beginning, they'd never know the opportunities and insights that their shortcomings provide. Traveling with Regna, seeing his moments of strength and weakness, it opened my eyes to things I'd never really thought about. <laughs> and to think I used to consider myself perfect, while being blissfully unaware of such matters. Do you believe in my brother? Do you not believe in him? That fool will come, of that I have no doubt. He'll barge in, shouting like he always does, besting every challenge he faces. And when he gets here, he'll free me and you. And you. So no matter what, he'll... Yes? It won't be too long now before we are ready to begin the ritual of emancipation. I have to leave. The final preparations require my personal attention. Wait, are you? You needn't worry, at least until the ritual has begun. But if something should happen to me, please take care of my brother. Something should happen to her? Why would she say that? I don't know what's going on. Good. Oh, it's another boss coming up, huh? I'm fine with that. Blaze gear! Oh great, now we are fighting chess pieces. Just what I've ordered. What does the moon have to do with chess exactly? Well, I guess fighting chess pieces is more interesting than fighting shogi pieces. Oh, it's this thing again. And that was completely and utterly pointless. Well, it does kill a few enemies for us, so... Maybe it's worth it. And by kill I mean damage a bit. Oh, it is this area. Uh, I was kind of worried it was. Eh, it's not as annoying as the rabbit was, at least. Actually, I'm not even sure what's the point in the other platform, since it's basically the same thing. Oh well. We'll be using our, our claw gear in this area a whole lot. What the hell is going on here? The castle guard caught you. You absconding with that half-eaten shortcake. If found guilty, you face the death penalty. But without our king and queen here, no judgment can be passed. True, we are in a bit of a pickle, as you can see. You know something, Mushroom? Spit it out. But yeah, we have to take this guy along with us. Wow, cat, that was really savage. I was going to let them live. How could you be so cruel? Wait, what happens if he falls down? Shit. Can I reset the area? No. Uh-oh. There we go, he's just on top of it. 
Uh, that is annoying since we'll be doing this a whole lot. Maybe it's better if you um, activate it first and quickly grab him. Uh, yeah, that might be better. Well, I risk bringing the mushroom for no reason, but oh well. Looks like treasure. Oh, hey, it's a little race thingy. Huh. Peace out. Actually, if he equips the Solomon's ring. It was all so I could stay beautiful, I swear. I had no fertilizer, so it was either wither away or eat the shortcake. Well, looks like we found the culprit. Not sure what to do with it. And these guys were just chilling, and I totally just murdered them. You go on there. And you too. Off you go. Ah, nailed it. No, oh, the mushroom! Oh, it's still on top, good. I just have to go back for it. Peace out. You just stay there. I think we are at the final stretch, so nothing should go wrong, hopefully. Here we go. Hold it. Oh, they are about to execute the poor pack of cards. You can't be the perpetrator. Someone else must be the real culprit, I'm sure of it. Because my people can eat mushrooms and shortcake, decks of cards cannot. Oh my god, it's foolproof. Well, we stumble up on it onto here. I don't want to find out, but no, bad kitty. Oh, oh my god. I really hope that didn't screw everything up. Get over here. If it did, I'm going to be really mad. Oh, thank god. I found the culprit who ate the shortcake. This flowers, the perp, but uh, maybe you can let them off with just a warning this time. We get another laser, uh, I mean chest, but the uh, stupid uh, knight is <laughs> shooting his laser at me. So I'm afraid you have to die. Oh, and I killed the pack of the deck of cards anyway, so um, you might say this was entirely pointless, except we did get two chests. Looks like treasure. Ooh, that's actually really nice. And some noodles to go with it. Whoa, is that coming for us? Oh, it isn't, okay. The last pot was on its head. You've still got a lot to learn. Shut up, Lou. Wait, how did I get the silver? I thought I brought a bo Huh. Something wrong with this, uh? Nah, just got a strong feeling, my mark sweating, I stayed ahead. Uh, say what? How do you know? 
I can smell him. Best try anything. He knows we are poking around here too. And from the scent of things, he's soaked in ev even more of his Luna power than I have. Damn. So you're saying he's going to be practically invincible now? Well, let's put it this way. He was thought tough as nails before, and he sure ain't gonna be any softer now. Just let me handle this. You two keep on going and find the princess. Hey, what are you saying all of a sudden? We made it this far together, didn't we? If we leave you to your own devices and he wins, he's just gonna come after us next, you know, then we both lose. This time, let's take him on together. Well, you heard him. He's gonna jump into your fight whether you want him or not. So just agree to team up already. Alright. Daigod's a legendary warrior from my clan, well, used to be anyhow. He was supposed to have died a long time ago. He what? So he's like Marquis Zahar then? Dunno, could be that Zahar went and dug him up from his grave. Then brought him back to life with one of them blood contracts. As a warrior of the clan, it's my duty to lay all Daigod back to rest. Gotcha. Then let's get in there and give him his no holds barrel brawl he's been looking for. Heh, <laughs> right eye. It ain't gonna be easy going through, just wanted to make sure you knew. I know. Right. Oh, we get a character Water, note for him. Oh nice. And let's put him down for good. This fight will basically be the same thing we did back in um, Castle Mumbria. But of course he will be stronger. <laughs> Has the lone wolf come to hunt me with a pack now? It seems time has only stoked your determination. Hmm. Why the change of heart, Puff? What happened to that fire in your belly that saw you challenge me alone back at the castle? Well, ain't no point in trying to keep up appearances when my opponent's a legendary warrior. It was watching these kids that finally made me realize that. Oh? Hey, who are you calling a kid? All told, I've still got plenty to learn as a warrior. Can't help feeling a little insecure about that in times like these. But I know myself, sure as anything. And as long as I keep my eyes on what's really important, I can make it through anything. That's how I was raised. Oh. <laughs> You're right about that, Puff. It is the duty of all who would call themselves warriors to be true to themselves, to their instincts. I can feel the moon call. this here in the skies above the moon you're right about one thing this all ends here you've had a long restless night but don't you worry you'll be back to sleep soon enough very well then let this bout decide the victor come at me with everything you have Puff. and this is the final time we fight Diegold, the werewolf warrior with odessa's newly found form the her werewolf form which basically gives her two new movesets, if you press the um, jump button she does an um, upper swing and her normal attack just is a few swings. For now let's just um, do basically the same thing we did back at the castle but well it's a bit longer now. 
point. Odessa can dish out some real good damage. Of course, so can die gold. And this is the time to strike when one see howls, of course. Sadly, I won't be able to refight this boss for a while since we can't go back to the G Colosseum. Oh my god, he just got a whole lot bigger. Not sure if that's going to help him, though. Uh, that's wi that will help him, that's for sure. Oh my god. This fight is so easy with Alwen, I can't even describe it. Dagold, you're... <laughs> I owe you my thanks, but at long last, my dream has been realized. And so, I no longer require this blood contract. W what are you talking about? All who live know that they shall one day perish. My dream was to die as I lived. A warrior to the last, to fight with everything I had, to exhaust my body and spirit, and leave this world in the peace that accompanies a life fulfilled. But you ended up getting sick and dying. Did Zahar take advantage of your regret? <laughs> I won't offer up excuses for my actions. I know how it must look to you to return from death, seeking only a more glorious demise. But it was my one regret. I may not have agreed with his way of doing things, but I was grateful to Marquis Zahar. I never knew. Ragnar, was it? I owe you my thanks as well. You gave me a fight befitting a true warrior's end. <laughs> the honor's mine. I've been in my fair share of scrapes, but out of all of them, you were the toughest, fiercest son of a gun I ever faced down. And I won't forget what I learned from you. <laughs> Good. The mind can forget, but the body will always remember. Ragnar, I have one more thing to tell you. You hold the key to the events unfolding here. Huh? The present and the past. None but you can untangle the threads fate has woven and weave them into the tapestry destiny has ordained. I pray for your good fortune in the battles to come. W wait, what are you... Daggled! <laughs> it seems my second life has finally run its course. Odessa, proud granddaughter of mine, I'm glad I was able to meet you. I thank you, Puff. Oh, huh. he's gone. Odessa? He called you his granddaughter. Yeah, he did. He passed on before I was born, so I never got to meet him. But he was my granddad. The whole clan looked up to him. Guess that's why I felt like I had to defend his honor. <laughs> Didn't think he'd notice. Odessa. Mm. Hey! Are you okay? <laughs> Guess the wild wolf went a little too wild there. Sorry, guys. Gonna have to sit a spell and rest here. Don't worry about it. 
I doubt I would have even made it this far without you. The rest of this rides on us now. So you just rest up and take it easy. Will do. Thanks, Ragna. Oh! You need a pillow there? All right, let's keep moving. We got places to go, people to see, and a princess to rescue. You ready, Rue? <laughs> you know it. Looks like we don't have too much further to go. Let's hurry, Ragna! Yeah. And that's the end of Die Gold. He lived the warrior, died the warrior, and then died the warrior again. But yeah. Oh well. Yeah, Odessa's gonna be sticking around a bit longer, it seems. But will we be able to stop Zahar from, well, resurrecting a god, a demon lord for that matter, and save Owen while, while we are at it? Find out next time on Let's Play Try, the Lord Insurrection. For now, thank you guys for tuning in, and until then, have a good one.